What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video we have a public service announcement to let you know that TextBit is closing down permanently. I want to read this notice to you guys so that you understand all of the details. It says we are permanently closing down. It has been a difficult decision and with a heavy heart and tears we announce the closure of TextBit services on September 14th of 2023. We understand that this news comes as a huge shock. Why is TextBit closing down? Due to adverse market shifts, including tightening regulations and ambiguity about the legal status of cryptocurrencies in various countries, we are ceasing all activities. In an environment where compliance costs are rising and our product margins constantly face pressure, continuing as before has become untenable for us. We began our journey with a distinct vision, but regrettably, the current environment prevents us from continuing. Regrettably, this marks the end of the TextBit journey. So when is it closing down? The website will stay accessible until 12 p.m. UTC on September 14th of 2023. We kindly ask that all of our customers withdraw their funds before then. We recommend completing this process as soon as possible. Any funds left after September 14th will not be retrievable. Can you withdraw your funds? Yes, you can withdraw your funds until 12 p.m. UTC on September 14th, 2023. We expect many users will withdraw their funds in the first couple of days. So there may be a queue before you can withdraw or proceed. This may also apply to KYC process and the handling of support tickets. We do our best to process everything as quickly as possible. I want to give a shout out to Influence who actually called this many months in advance. Uh, he posted this in Discord on April 13th of 2023. TextBit support have deleted all our last messages in Dynex TextBit channel regarding our inquiries. This was the last two messages I have posted. And you can see by this it says according to uh, this particular article here, TextBit is proudly made and based in the Netherlands as per DNB. The company is not registered under Article 23B, providers engaged in exchange services between virtual currencies and fiat currencies. On TextBit.io, if we scroll down to the bottom left corner and click on About Us, it takes us to this page and it states TextBit Global Services Limited is the company behind TextBit Exchange, which is incorporated in the Republic of Seychelles. I could not find any license or registration records for TextBit and Seychelles business company registration records. Can anyone point me on where to find official TextBit license and registration information under what country and regulator the TextBit Exchange operates? Now, I don't know for certain if they were able to find this information, but the warning signs have been there for a little while. So there may be some additional exchanges that start to face regulatory scrutiny. So I want you guys to please take your funds off of exchanges unless you plan on selling immediately. We don't know which exchange could be the next to drop and you don't want to be in a situation where you're unable to get your funds out of there. And because of what's going on right now, we can see that several of our favorite mineable coins are actually experiencing a significant drop. Meow Coin's currently down 47%, Radiant's down 13.5%, Octa's down 12%, Dynex is down about 10%, Casp is down about 7.5%, Nex is down about 8.5%. So, you know, I'm not a trader, but this could potentially be a buy the dip opportunity or it could be a catalyst for some more downward pressure. So if you're curious what other exchanges you can use for some of these coins, I'll give you a few options. One would be Zegex. They do have a pretty wide variety of mineable coins. You also have Trade Ogre, which is what I prefer to use. And then there is Safe Trade and NonKYC.io. So hopefully one of these can provide you an opportunity to exchange or trade some of the coins that you're looking to trade with. But in the meantime, just be very vigilant that things like this could be coming down the pipeline for a lot of exchanges. 
With that being said, I wish you guys the best of luck getting your coins off of Textbit if you have it on there. Stay tuned for additional information as it comes forward. Thanks for watching. Hit that like on the way out. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I'll see you on the next one.